Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Gail. Today I have a tutorial and I am going to speak more slowly. I always catch myself. I try to get these done as fast as possible, but I also want you to understand me. Okay, so today I have a tutorial. This is going to be how to get two memory decks cards and three mini rosettes out of one six by eight piece of paper. You're going to need scissors, a hot glue gun that's hot and ready to go, always with the extra glue stick close by in case you run out. These are some that I already have done, so I'm just using this Dollar Tree tray to hold all my little fixings. And here, oops, my light just went weird, sorry. And here's the ones I have done already off camera. I've actually tried to film this video several times, but that's life, right? Okay, Mary Day's paper pad. You can use any six by eight piece of paper or cut it down, you know, from a 12 by 12. I have two memory decks dies that I picked up off AliExpress super cheap. I always keep painter's tape handy at my craft table. I have a circle punch. This is a five eighth inch circle punch scoreboard trimmer die cutting machine. I have the Sizzix Big Shot and I think around here somewhere I have a tape gun that I'm going to use to tape my rosettes together. All right, I'm just going to get right into it. I have already chosen my piece of paper because like I said, this was like my fourth time filming. The first time I filmed on my phone and you could see off frame the desk mess and it was super driving me nuts. And then I got interrupted and then the other one well, I did a trial run first before I filmed to make sure that it was going to work. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's super funny. It's all good. That's life. Now I'm going to get some of this stuff out of my way and we're just going to go ahead and get right into cutting this piece of paper. Now it's probably going to make my camera unstable. So I go ahead and apologize in, in, in advance for that. But what we're going to do is try to line up and I might be slightly off frame when I am film when I am running that through the machine. But I'm sure most of us are familiar with how to do that. If you need me to teach you, go ahead and just leave a request down below. I did have one request for a video and I filmed it and <laughs> someone came in and coughed like, and it wasn't just like a, I mean, it was like a nasty, like, like, no, no bueno. So I had to kind of scrap that one, but I'm going to be doing more tassels. So I can honor that request. Okay, now I'm going to get this guy as close as I can to the edge and the side. So this paper is plaid. I like to pick papers for memory decks cards that are going to be easy to embellish on top of. So I don't think that Santa was a good choice. That one is you're only going to get part of the gold. That's too busy. That would have been okay for a memory decks card as with that. Um, but I'm kind of running running out of the good papers on this one because I filmed this video so many times. So if you're a crafty friend of mine, get ready for a memory decks card. Merry days coming your way soon. All right. So I'm going to get these as close as I can. And what I'm going to do is that one I taped down there. I'm just going to tape these here. And okay, I'm going to tape just down here just to keep it in place just a little bit while I go ahead and run that through. So it's gonna, it's gonna, 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 okay. It's going to kind of wobble. And for that, I do apologize. I'm gonna try to be so gentle so it doesn't wobble. I am trying to, maybe Santa will bring me a better camera clamp thingy. My rig that I made, I built my rig myself actually. And it was kind of set up more for the camcorder. So I only have the camcorder quarter holder and I'm using a gooseneck tablet holder because I don't like the quality from my camcorder. So I ended up filming with my phone or my iPad, mostly my iPad. And so I need to get a better plant and I will do that, I promise. But for now, we just work and do the best we can with what we have. All right, so those are the two memory decks cards. And I do always go back and back these up with either plain white cardstock or just a coordinating color cardstock. I'm gonna dump those right in the pile. We, just for the sake of the video, I'm only gonna do one run through the machine. But, okay, so this is the piece of paper we have left. So now what I'm going to do is put these back in my stash right here. Uh, if you hear background noise, so sorry, we're fixing the washing machine. So I mean, it's, you can only get three rosettes out of this. So 
you need at least three circles but I just punch as many as I can in case you want to put one on the back or you want to use these somehow else in your project you could use them on the embellishments you're gonna also hear my cat crying because I won't let him in here because he messes with everything and eats paper and ribbon and I have the hot glue gun and like with my obviously with my Sizzix it doesn't matter but with my Cricut I don't want them in here there's blades on there okay so I'm only gonna go until I want to not cut into this solid strip that I have left like I'm not even gonna cut this off I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do so these little holes holes circles I keep calling this a hole punch too but you know what I mean. I'm gonna put my little circles in my little thing and I'm gonna take my scoreboard now I orient mine like this I don't know if that makes me a super weirdo but I feel like when I do it like this I have to reach too far and I can't I don't know to me it's just easier to see like this so I'm gonna try to stay in frame but what I'm gonna do is on the 8 inch side okay so this is the 8 inch side the long side I'm gonna go ahead and score down this little strip at every quarter inch okay so I'm just gonna do this I might speed this part up if I can figure out how it's hard to chat and score because you don't want to mess up and especially on a paper like this that has stripes it's kind of hard to see where you're scoring and that's why I like using these little embossing tools this is actually a pottery like a ceramic tool but I like it for scoring because it gets in this little groove and I, I just like it better than a foam board sometimes but I digress I'm gonna finish scoring so it's six quarter half six and three quarters that one I'm gonna do again because it kind of went wonky seven and we only need to go where like to down to here so this little scrap we don't really need to score that and we're gonna get about three sometimes you might only get two rosettes from these but we're all done with the scoreboard so we can go ahead and get that out of the way but I'm gonna bust out my scissors and my paper trimmer and my tape so what I'm going to do is you need to cut these at a half inch strips so since you only have about let me measure that not even two inches of paper to work with you're only going to get three and this is when I bust out my little pieces of tape again so I'm going to go to half an inch on this eight inch side I'm going to take mine down a little bit just so that it stays in place if that makes sense and if I go off frame slightly I do apologize I just want to make sure everything's lined up right so there's my strip I'm gonna take the paint off I mean the paint painters tape off I'm gonna to go to half inch again I am going to and don't worry about this edge that's not even I'm gonna show you what we do there I don't like to put in my paper trimmer and get it off because it's so close but I will get rid of that later so don't worry there is another half inch strip. I'm gonna take my tape off and do the same thing. Now this one you barely have enough. So I go ahead and tape it here on the other side of the cutter. That piece is a scrap, it's not gonna matter. That piece is a scrap you're gonna throw away anyway. All right, so there's my last half inch strip. All right, so this is a scrap you can seriously feel good about throwing away. And actually I see right there where I can get one more circle and this is scored but I guess we could use that circle but it's scored but actually that might be cute on an embellishment it's scored so look so right there we have room to get two more circles so I'm gonna do that and look at that guys that is pretty used I do not even feel bad about throwing that away I'm proud to throw this away super proud to those I got one more and that one scored but you know what it might be cute or you could use it on the back so that is going right in the garbage folks all right now we don't need the trimmer anymore I am going to use my scissors and on these little edges where it's not even I'm just going to cut that off so at the closest score line 
So actually this paper is going to be super hard to fold because it's going to be hard to see those scores. I'm going to have to fold it so you're going to see. Okay. Actually, yeah, that's going to be super hard to see to fold. So I'm going to use like this red one that I already had done. So it got really cold. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to make a big old pot of chili in my Instant Pot. Um, yesterday was almost 70 degrees, y'all. It was almost 70 degrees. And this morning when I went to work, it was raining and 54 degrees. And uh, by the time it gets dark, it's going to be 32. So it's getting super cold. It's going to be about 23 degrees. I work at Starbucks. So when I go to work in the morning, I leave at 4.30 a.m. It is going to be like 23 degrees. So I busted out my scarves and my gloves and I'm going to warm my car up in the morning. All right. So what we want to do now, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with how to make rosettes, but you just want to fold like an accordion fold on every score line. And to me, it kind of gets harder the further down you go and I try to keep it straight. My fingers are a hot mess. I super glued them to themselves today. Super exciting time. So sorry for all that gunk and junk. And of course my nails are horrible because I'm an artist and a barista. And sorry about that. I'm, if I'm off frame, I'm sorry. I'm just folding, you know, peaks and valleys. And I will post the tutorial where I learned how to do these rosettes. I believe it was Bambi Deer which I'm on Instagram, I'm not sure exactly what she is here on YouTube. I know I watch her videos all the time, but I'll, I'll link it down below. And so I'm going to kind of straighten those up as best I can. And I'm going to adhere these. See, I don't have the right, I'm going to have to lay this part onto this part. So what I want to do is cut off slightly just a little sliver of this one so that it's not so bulky on the fold. If you don't have it right, if you do it like this, you're, it's not going to come out. So you can't glue it like this. It has to be mountain valley, mountain valley. And I hope you can see this. So it has to be adhered there. So I cut off just a tiny strip of this, the one that's going under. So then when it folds, the rosette comes out evenly. Now you can either, you can use hot glue, you can use wet glue, whatever. I just have my tape runner handy. So that's what I'm going to use. I got super lucky and I found some tape in my stash that has the white backing. I despise so much the brown backing that they have started using on this tape. It makes me sorry that I ever even bought an ATG because it is so hard to load and it's super annoying. Does anyone else feel the same way? Because I can't stand it. Okay, but I digress as I often do. So now that it's attached to each other, we have kind of a circle that's, you know, Peak and Valley, I kind of make sure my folds are all right. And you want to fold it in on itself. So it's going to be like this. And some of your folds might not lay exactly right at first and you're gonna have to kind of play with it and get it to how it's supposed to be. And that is perfect. So while I'm holding that, I'm gonna grab my glue gun and I'm gonna have my little dot ready and to me, it's hard to pick up off the table, so I'm going to just set it right there on that ATG. But I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So you are just going to put some glue there in the middle. Okay, and it's going to, I usually just work on my work surface where I can swipe my glue gun against it and not have that little stringy thing. But it looks nicer when you're filming videos to have the fake background here. So it kind of is, oh, there it goes. Mine, I have mine, mine's dual temp and I have it set on the low temperature. So it was fine to touch. Now you don't want to burn yourself. I did, however, buy a little, let me see if I can find it. Soft thimble. My bestie boo, Mika boo, made this for me. And I keep it there with some tools handy. I did buy this little, it's really a thimble, but I don't, I couldn't find a whole finger one. And this one was like a buck. At Tuesday morning so when I saw it I was like you know what I can use that for hot gluing all right so that is your mini rosette so as you can see we get three strips and two memory decks cards out of one six by eight paper 
And what you can do with, there's a couple things you can do with these. I think some of them I'm going to make into paper clips. So I'll use another one of my little holes. This one's going to be on the back, so it doesn't matter if it matches. It's coordinating paper, so it'll be fine. And I think it's easier to attach these to the paper clips before you embellish them because they're plain right now, so it won't matter which way it's oriented if you need to move the paper clip, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to lay that paper clip. Obviously, you want the side that's going to hold the paper not glued, so glue the other end. And I'm going to just go ahead and glue there, a generous little dollop of glue. I'm going to go ahead and pop this on, use my little thimble so I don't burn myself, and hold that into place until it's dry, which that's the great thing about hot glue, it dries super quickly. And look at that, a tiny little paper clip that you can embellish and it's super cute and I already know, I already know I'm going to use one of these, where are they at? I mean, come on, these are the perfect size for these. Oh, I can't wait to keep crafting. Okay, so thank you for joining me for, for this video. I know your time is precious, so I appreciate you taking some of it to come craft with me. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I try to get back to y'all as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. See you in the next video.